Hey, what's up everybody? It's George here and we're back with another video. Now today's video is build video number six in the Align T-Rex 500E series. Before we continue on with page number 15, I'm going to backtrack and uh, take care of one of the steps that I did not do before, and that is installing the landing gear. I choose to hold off on installing the landing gear because it's a lot easier to manipulate the helicopter while you're doing the build and I wait till the last minute. Now that I have the vertical stabilizer on, it's a good idea to uh, put the landing gear on so I can get it a little bit higher off the ground. Let's take a real quick look at my setup. First, I have the book open to the right page. We've uh, jumped back to page nine. Pen in case I need to take any notes. I have the landing skid tubes, the landing skid supports, the rubber grommets, the ends that go in, and I have all the nuts and bolts that I'm going to need to install the landing gear. The only tool that we're going to be needing is a 1.5 millimeter driver, and that's pretty much it. So let's put the camera on the stand and pop the skids on real quick. Okay, we're ready to start installing the skids. Pretty straightforward, nothing to discuss, so let's uh, get right to work. Okay, there you have it. Landing skids are all installed. The one little end is a little tough going on. I'll take some sandpaper and pop that one little end on, but otherwise, pretty straightforward. Um, let's go ahead and get ready to continue on once again with page number 15. Now that we've got the landing gear installed, we're ready to continue on with page number 15 in the manual, which is the rotor assembly. Let's take a real quick look at my setup. First, I have the manual. Open to the right page and a pen in case I need to take any notes. I have some EPO grease for the bearings. I have some blue Loctite and a dish. I have some Q-tips in case I get a little sloppy with the Loctite. And I also have some toothpicks in case I want to do that fine application. Microfiber rag in case I get any grease on anything. And let's take a look at my setup. First I have all the nuts and bolts uh, ready to go. The tail pitch slider. But if you notice the tail rotor assembly is all taken apart. It comes pre-assembled, but even though it was Loctite, I decided I should take it apart and I'm glad I did because none of the thrust bearings were greased at all. They're dry. Uh, I, I want to grease up all the bearings, put the blade grips back together, and then uh, move on with the build. So let's go ahead and put the camera on the tripod and finish up page number 15. Okay, we're ready to get on with page number 15, the tail rotor assembly. And before we start, one thing I want to mention is, is just like the main blade grips, the tail blade grip thrust bearings have an order they have to go in. Um, they're marked out and in, but uh, you, you definitely want to pay attention to that orientation. And then there's one other thing that I do, when I put the thrust bearings in, I put the cup to the outside. And the reason for that is, is that centrifugal force won't force all the grease out as quickly. Uh, no big deal. You can't put it in either way, but that's just what I do. So, let's go ahead and begin, as always, with the greasing and finish up the uh, tail rotor assembly.
Okay, there you have it. Tail rotor assembly is complete and we are ready to continue on with page number 16. This looks like a good place to break. Look for the next video coming soon where we start page number 16. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and as always, happy flying friends.